Okay guys, we're back. Uh, this is uh, the inspection on my first hive. We went in reverse order, did the new one first, and then we're going to do an inspection on my first hive. This is the hive that was the late season swarm last year that I didn't think would make it through the winter. Um, I have a medium super and frames prepared to put them on uh, with a queen excluder so I can start getting honey. Um, so. I'm going to hand the phone over to Sheena. She's going to record and we'll see what we got here. This inspection is going to take a little bit longer because I've got 20 frames to go through. Uh, make sure everything looks good and um, go from there. So here's Sheena. Okay. I need to turn these trees back some more. going to try to stay back as much as possible so I can get a view. This strap was on here from over winter and I've just continued to use it. Since it's tall I don't want it to topple over. Tell you what, since you're going to work from the side, I want to stand towards the back so I can, because I've got to back up some so I can get you a full view. Okay. So, I went to New Mexico a couple weeks ago. Before I went to New Mexico, I did an inspection on the hive and I added this box to it. The uh, population in this bottom box was so much that if I didn't do something about it, they probably would have swarmed while it was gone. So I added more real estate to uh, their home so that they wouldn't swarm. Um, just a quick look and it looks like 98% of all the frames in here have drawn comb on them and um, yeah so let's see what we got. Let's start on this side. Mm -hmm. This is another reason why I want to change this box out. Yeah. Everything's glued in here pretty good too. This is really sticky. Nice. Oh yeah, they worked a lot, man. Don't want a squishy move. Um, your queen in here is not marked at all, is it? No. So, just looking, all of this is honey. Um, let's see how this side is drawn out. Yep. It's not capped yet, but it is drawn out. And it is full. If I had to guess, this uh, frame probably weighs... Uh, just got stung. It was by accident. I squished her. It probably weighs about two to three pounds. That side is um, got some capped honey on it. box is a little bit better shape than the other one is. So, we're going to swap them out. See the stinger right there? Nah. I squished her. She got me. I didn't mean to. Brandy Newton joined. Hey, Brandy. Hey, Brandy. This one, pretty much a repeat of the last frame. Uh, looks like we've got some pollen in here. Um, cat, honey, no brood, which is good. 
if I were to say if I were to take these frames which I'm not today um, and they were all kept I could uh, use them extract the honey from the pollen is actually good for you people eat pollen and apparently it tastes it has a light floral taste to it I've never eaten it not that I know of anyway. Brandy says hi in response to our highs <laughs> try not to squish them That's a drone right there. Big fat drone. They're the male bees of the hive. This one's got brood in it. And that big opening in the middle. So the queen has been up here laying her eggs. Again, this queen in this hive is not marked. Um, I bought her last season and uh, she wasn't marked and I never got a chance to mark her um, so needless to say it's going to be like looking for a needle in a haystack but the fact that she is laying eggs is good that's what we want to see yep because she's there there's some drone and if you look down in those cells you can see the eggs Yep, they look okay. like little rice grains. This smells really good. I love the smell of beeswax. Look, bee butt. <laughs> I like bee butts and I cannot lie. <laughs> okay, now I'm just being silly. Bee butt. We should become rappers. <laughs> Our first song would be bee butt. I don't think we'd sell a single album, Gina. Hey, we might. Never might, say never. Might go viral for like 15 minutes on YouTube, but that's it. <laughs> If anybody will like it, the bees will. <laughs> Either that or they'll sting us to death and make us shut up, right? Yeah. No, I didn't see her. But there is some good cat brood right there. Mm -hmm. And the pattern's good too. Yes, it is. That's what I would like to see in my hive. <laughs> maybe, just maybe. This would probably be a good um, frame to send your way. What you think? Well. Do you think they're too developed? The only thing is, is if there's any opened, um, any open larva, I'd have to get them there quick. I know cat brood would last a little longer, but any open larva, if any kind of moisture gets to her, to them, they'll probably die, die off. Do what? I haven't seen a frame yet that's just cap through. Yeah. 
they're usually towards the center, aren't they? They usually work in a ball, like inner, then outer. I think so. We'll keep looking. You need two frames, right? Yeah. This has got open brood on it. Yeah. Probably gonna find that in the bottom. That is called the tunnel. <laughs> yep. B tunnel. The tunnel of love. That's God. right. <laughs> <laughs> Don't know. I think that would be the tunnel of laziness. Work smarter, not harder, right? Yeah. I'm telling you what, bees are smart. They are smart. You want to get that off there? Yeah. Side's fine. Got a couple more pieces of burr up there. Oh, okay. Okay, little bee. Move, move. Alright. And I don't see her on this side. I get to looking myself and I'm starting to drop the phone <laughs> down. <laughs> They're just looking at like your hand. I'm sorry guys. <laughs> My videographer skills are not good. Obviously. Yeah, these are new larva. Yep. There's little rice grains in there. Larvae. So Are you going to sit that box back on top, or? Yeah. Okay. Since the side side wall of that one's messed up. Oh, I got the camera on your butt. Sorry. I'm just like sitting here watching you. <laughs> Since this is cracked. Yeah. I'll move it off. Yeah. Makes sense. Yeah, okay. Yeah. He got my tool. I was like, what are we doing? Tool. Check. <laughs> I think. Do you think it's safe to put a excluder on here and I mean, yeah, because however many high uh however many frames you give me, mm -hmm. they'll have that stuff build up in probably three days, if not less. Yeah. And then when they get done with that, they're going to start getting overcrowded and start making queen or supersedure cells. So you may as well, I'd stick it on top. Um, and put, put the honey super on it. Yeah, put, those, put the excluder and put the honey super on top. But like um, those empty frames, I would stick them in the middle. Since uh, they usually, from what I've always seen, they've always built from the middle. Well, the other hive, they were building from Outside. that one side in. Yeah. I don't know. I don't see her on here either. They're fanning. Charlene Annette. Hello. Hey, Charlene. She's an SCA. She's crazy like me. <laughs> Still looking for the queen bee. Um, there's eggs in here. I can see the little rice grains. So she's been here. Um, got a couple of drone cells. Capped brood. Pollen. Laying pattern seems to be good still. No complaints. But I don't see a queen on this side. Let me flip over.
she's on this ride. I think it's neat that the bees have the organs and the ability to excrete the wax from their bodies and that their spit and vomit is basically what makes the honey. Bees are neat little creatures. I'll give them that. I highly encourage anybody to take up beekeeping. Pablo Castro. Hey Pablo. Um, beekeeping's a great hobby. Bees are our main pollinators. There's others, other creatures out there that pollinate our plants, but the bees are the ones that do it the most. Um, I was afraid, and Sheena can vouch for this, of bees in the very beginning, because we didn't want to get stung. You know, horror stories, people dying from getting stung, that sort of thing. And, uh, Man, I've gotten stung so many times that it doesn't even faze me now. It's crazy. If you ever want to learn or if you ever have questions, there's always great resources out there. YouTube has lots of videos. Um, there's your local beekeepers associations in your county. There's beekeepers like myself and Sheena. Look at that. That's weird how they drawn that out. Yeah. They're messy. Um, but yeah, it's a great hobby. And you're helping out e everybody, really. You think I should do anything about that? I would pull it off. That would be just me this because, so yeah. Because look at that, too. Yeah, that's, you're going to end up getting some cold in there. I mean, it already started. So. I hate doing this. This I'll take inside and put it with the other wax. I see it's barely hanging on, like, at the bottom anyways. Here, just sit it on the bench. Pablo says, do they make wine? Just kidding. <laughs> well, you can make, you make mead with honey. Honey is, uh, mead is fermented honey. Let's go. When I get enough honey, I'm going to try my hand at making some mead. I'm slinging honey everywhere. <laughs> Uh, is if you you know you've I know everybody's heard you know going on a honeymoon after you get married well way 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 back in the day um, the newlyweds used to be gifted people used to get married on a full moon Oops. around that time I just lost the side of it sorry bees and the newlyweds were gifted honey uh, Honey and the full moon, honey moon. There's more to it than that, but I'm kind of occupied and can't think and talk at the same time, especially other stuff. Sorry, guys. Now that is full of honey. Oh, oops. I probably squished them too. My bad. Just set it over there like that and they'll come off on their own. Uh -oh. But she left with her stinger, so should I get that one off too? Um, or do you think that one's that bad? I probably would, just because. I mean, it might tempt him to try it again, you know. Look at all that honey just dripping out of it. Yep. I really hate having to do this, but. Go away. Get off. Okay. Just 
sticky. What's my time? 20, 20 minutes. Now the time limit on these uh, live posts is 30 minutes. So whenever it gets close to like 29 minutes, we'll go ahead and stop the video and then we'll start another one. If y'all want to continue watching. I know this is probably boring as crap, isn't it? How many more frames do I got up there? Just one more. Get off my shoes. Oh, this is a really old hive body. I'd say she might be on that one. Heavy too. A grip on it. There are a lot of bees on this one. That open brood too. I don't see her so far on this side. I have a good name for this one. Her name's Bridget. How is it? Yeah. <laughs> Bridget, where are you? I was going to say Waldo for the other one, but, <laughs> but, but Queen Waldo would be marked, so that wouldn't be fitting. Take me to your leader. <laughs> that one's got the comb. Let me get it. Yeah. Okay, I'm coming back. Went around right there. There she is. Yeah. See the queen? She's not marked. Right there. But she's got a longer body, abdomen, than the rest because she can back back right up into those cells and lay those eggs. Yep. Oh hell the queen. <laughs> Bridget. Hello, Bridget. That could be a reason why they are doing what they're doing right there. What is that? That wire. Oh, yeah. Yeah, this is one of my older frames. It's been in storage. But yep, there she is. I really like the marker. That way it's not so hard to find her. Oh, yeah. Drop the frame. That would be bad. Yeah, considering I got sandals. I on. would take one out. So that way she doesn't get smushed here. Actually, you know what? They're light enough now. With this, I'll just slide this over. Look at that frame. And then I'll pull the whole thing off. Yeah. The whole box. We'll just do it that way. Yeah. It's full. Full of honey. Don't look like there's any brood in that one. And that's all honey too.
You said you're removing this box. Yeah. Oh yeah, they're starting to overcrowd for sure. Yeah. You could probably split this. Yeah, but I don't have any queen cells. No. Yeah. Or oh. see procedures. Yeah. Oh. But <laughs> you're getting that queen. Yeah. Hey, let me see the tool. There you go. Let me see your tool. I know, I'm a goober. This one, because it's only got handles on the side. Oop. Oh, you good? Yep. <laughs> Just call me Grace. Brooke asks, how long does it take you to get honey once you establish a hive? Um, well, to put this in perspective, this was the late season swarm last year, and uh, whenever they came out of winter, the population just exploded. Um, and I'm coming into where I'm going to put an excluder on there and put a, um, that box over there with the frames in it for honey so it can depends on how fast they work it can be uh several months it can be a couple of months um but yeah i would say about a couple of months before they um are can be ready to um, have extra honey on hand now since i'm gonna have these two big boxes on here um i'm not gonna pull any honey from these um, specifically put the smaller boxes on there so they can make the honey and I'll pull from those because this will be for brood and the honey for them and I don't want to over rob them so that they have some for themselves so um, hey Josh can you bring me another deep empty deep deep Box. Empty, no frames. Huh? This is just gonna put the frames in it for temporary so I can inspect it. Now this what's my time? Twenty seven, fifty seven, eight, nine. Okay. Um, twenty eight. <laughs> This hive, I have had a feeder on the front of it. I took the feeder off of it today because it took them like four or five days, almost a week, to drain the uh, quart jar out. Um, they're at the point where they don't need any supplemental feed, at least right now. Um, when it gets hotter, things get drier, things start, the blooms start dying off, and there's not as much pollen. I'll probably start supplement feeding again, but for right now, they're doing pretty good. Pretty good on their own. I'm good at this box. Hi. Hmm. You're at twenty nine. We'll go ahead and stop this video for now. We'll start another one here in just a few minutes. So just bear with us. We'll run out of time.
It's still going. I thought you stopped it. Huh. I thought it stopped at 30 minutes. That's what someone said on yours the other day. Yeah, it's still going. Still alive. Oh, okay. Well, apparently yeah, we're still alive. Five seconds away. What time are we at now? 30.51. Alright, we'll continue until it stops. And when it stops, we'll start again. Alright. Yeah. <laughs> I just squashed. Sorry, mm -hmm. girls. I feel so bad when I squish them. I'm going to need my frame puller for this one. It's not going to be able to get them. I'll be right back. Okay. That's cool. Little frame perch. You need a frame puller? Um, I don't have one, no. You want one? It's I like mean, three or four. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, there's some good cat breed on there, which actually it's not so much, but. I just undid the uh, comb. I smushed the comb because it was wedged in there. Well, we know the queen's not in here, so I'm just looking, doing a quick look. Good pollen stores. And the reason why the comb is brown is because it's an old comb and they've walked all over it. Do you want to pull all that off? Yeah, I'll hold it if you want to do it. And that bowl's down there too. This is it. Yeah, that's got the larva in it. Yeah. Just flop it off into the ground. Ew, it's like popping a pimple. <laughs> that's disgusting. All of it's drone brood, though, right? Yeah. Shoo! Don't know why I'm walking off this way. Juice. Dead juice of bee. Sad. Very sad. Pry that one apart. Yeah, that's fine. There you go. Some of 
that off. Dead juice of a bee. This sperm's light compared to the other one. Mm, squished fruit. Yeah. That's a lot of drone over there, though. What kind of cell is that over here? See the one on the. Uh, it's a cool little queen cup. Insurance cup. From what I've been told, if you have a if you have a queen, mm -hmm. and then they do a queen cup, and if it's not capped, then it is an insurance cup. From what I've told, just in case your queen dies. I don't need to worry about it. Right? No, you don't. Mm -hmm. Now, if you have a super seizure and a capped queen cell, like I had in mine the other day, uh -huh. then that's when you've got to worry. I, we're still live and viewers are coming on and off so oh, really? yeah I think whoever said that the other day don't know what they're talking about <laughs> I think it was Bonnie was it not yeah um I think unless we find something down here you'll, I might have to send you home with uncapped brood yeah that's plenty right there on that side, it looks like. It's a lot of drone on that side, too. Yeah. That might be okay, that one. But yeah, that's a good pattern right there. And you've got... There's some queen, queen cups. Yeah, I don't see anything in them, though. All right, I'm Wait a minute, what's this one here? Is that, is that encapped? No, okay. Good. I'd say that would probably be an okay one. There's still some open, but, uh, I mean, I'd probably shake some of those bees off, maybe. Unless you want to keep them, uh, mm -hmm. I mean, that's totally, totally you. Um, let me go ahead and take this one over there. Okay. You've got a lot of burr comb on the bottom, too. That's fine. I'll get that later. I'm not, as long as I... If they cross comb, if they stay alive, I'm good. <laughs> and what she's doing, if we're still alive, I don't know. A uh, cardboard one. Uh, what she's doing, my hive at my house is, um, I don't know if any of you guys were watching the other day when we were going through my hive. I'm Sheena, by the way. Um, her friend. But, um been friends for a long time what like 10 11 12 years something like that anyways we went through my hive the other day and I don't have a I had a laying worker or a not so great queen either one um, didn't have any brood in my hive whatsoever um, a lot of drones and so I ended up splitting me and Becky ended up splitting the hive and um, so I was told I need to get uh, a couple of frames of brood to put in my hives because I'm going to have to go get queens. So that's kind of what she's doing right now. Checking for brood, pulling some frames for to send home with me. There's a lot of bees on the bottom. Yeah. They had, they're definitely ready for some more room. Move. Little fuzzy butt out of the way. Who was asking? Um, I was just saying, just in case. Oh. No questions were asked, but I figured I would put that out there. Yeah. How many viewers we got? Uh, I've got, we've got five. Now, the only thing I don't like about these frame pullers <sighs> is it's hard to, uh, not to squish. Yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah, this is, uh, there's fairly empty. Yeah, there's some brood in there, mostly pollen and a uh, larva or 
some larva miss some brood. But this one's a lot lighter. Yeah. I may have to pull some of the ones from up top. Sure enough. Are you getting... Uh, the, never mind. I answered my own question with my thoughts now. Okay. <laughs> I was going to say, are you switching boxes with that one too? But no, I know you're not. It, never mind. I'll eventually switch them over to the new ones. And get rid of those uh, turquoise ones. Because they're just so so bad, sh bad in shape. So... Aside from accidental and accidental stings, like getting smushing a bee or whatever, I haven't actively been attacked, despite digging around in their hive yep. thing. Stuck to the bottom, I think. Hold that. We got some stuff to scrape off. Yeah, it's right there. All that drone. And we're working on a queen cup here. Looks like. Yeah, they're preparing to... I think they're going to prepare to split. It probably would have been another week or so before they do. But can we scrape this? Yeah, go ahead. That's why I'm holding it off on the side so it goes straight on the ground over there oh sorry i was gonna try and shake them off but that didn't work out too good i'll just toss it over there they'll come back there we go okay bottom yeah just slowly go ahead and Scrape, scrape all the way across, just slow. I feel like I'm rolling out birthday candles. <laughs> so the, most of that there is uh, pollen. Mm. Pollen and some honey and just a little bit of drone. That side. This side is brood. That's good. Good little pattern of brood. Yep. How we doing? Good. I mean, it's still going. It had a. It had a little hold on it. Um. Misconnection or whatever. Oh. At one point, but we're still rolling. Stuck. Hands falling asleep. <laughs> that was attached on the bottom. Yeah. Hello again. We only got one viewer now. Cheers up. Somebody just sent me a text. Maybe it's like that. I don't know what time it is. What time do you need to be back? Uh, I mean, I need to at least try to start heading that way, probably by three or so because I'll have to go to the house put it in go to mom's put it in go get Noah imagine it's probably around three by now but we're almost done um this is cat brood and pollen and some honey do you want this one that's fine
I don't see any open open brood. If there is, it's very minimal. Yeah. However many you think you can stand to share. I mean, I... I don't know. What do you think? Um... You get you two more. Alright. That's what I was wondering. Probably three or four, so... But whatever your hive can stand, whatever you think. But she's a good worker, like layer, so she's laying good. Only thing that's bad is, gotta draw out more comb again. Be alright. Only set them back a couple of days. That's a good, good frame right there. It's a real good frame, actually. Clean. A little cup on the bottom. Look, there's one emerging. It just came out. Yeah. And one sees them moving around in there. Yeah. Whenever I blew on them, it just like boosted them the rest of the way out. That's cool. Instead of the back of the truck. Yeah. yeah. These this tool is actually gonna get washed. It's super sticky. Yeah, my gloves are horribly sticky. Mm, excuse me. I'll get you. Nope, just the honey that's on the gloves. Oh. <laughs> or nectar or whatever. I'm on this one too. Oh, yeah. This one has open larva. No. A lot of drone. Pollen and drone. Mm -hmm. And honey. This one we'll need to scrape. Are they getting you through the glove good? Or? I'm not feeling it. I'm just feeling the vibration and seeing them struggle and eviscerate themselves. I'd almost shake that one off down in the box just to kind of get them all off of there. There you go. That worked out good. Ew. <laughs> That's gross. <laughs> Do this That's here. fine. Oh, <laughs> That's like a huge zit on your face getting popped or something. <laughs> yeah. Alright, so now that it, we shook it off, do you want this one or do you want. How does that look on my other side? That's mostly pollen. Some brood is wrong. Um, let's see what the next one looks like. I was told, um, once I take these to the house, I was told to um 
well what I'm going to do is I'm going to probably take the frames that are in the hive I was told to take them out about 50 feet and shake them, and shake them all off and whatever if there is a laying worker then she'll be out there that's a good one yeah. I don't want to shake this one no -uh. yeah because there's good frame a, a brood on the back too Shake it, bit. brush it all off is what I was told to do. Yeah. Yeah, that's good. Just gotta last me till tomorrow. That's all. No, 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 no. I'm going straight home putting them in so are we still videoing um, yeah we're at an hour wow frame i wonder how long a gopro lasts like on battery i don't know i think it was so cool to like put a gopro uh -huh. inside of a hive like maybe somehow attach it in there uh -huh. and take a few frames like and just bring it out you know and just attach the gopro in there and just watch them how they build like uh, there's actually somebody was talking about it in one of the beekeeping groups um like an endoscope yeah. that you can attach to your phone. Cool. And uh, put it up in a hive. Lauren Sigrist. Hey, Lauren. I went to high school with her. Okay. Okay. Let's slide this back a little bit. I see some bird calm on the wall over here. I'm going to set this off. A lot of bees. A lot of bees. How many bees do you think I got in here? Um, ah, a lot. I don't know. I'd say roughly 30, 40,000 maybe. More. That one got uncapped. Maybe more. Yeah. A lot of bees. That's for sure. Alright, let's start sticking this thing back together. I think I'm going to put the Vivaldi board up on top of this for some ventilation. Oh, there's some fur palm. I didn't see it. They were all over it. Yes, I'm one of those that will help a bee get loose. Save a bee. So what's the joke about that one joke you told me the other day? About bees that make milk? Yeah. That's funny. What kind of bees make milk? <laughs> That's funny. Boobies! Boobies. Go away. Oh, you're stuck.
feet left. I don't see any more bird cars. Burr. Well, I am a happy bee mama. That's for sure. Which one had the queen in it? One of those over there in the other green box. I think we should probably close it out. Yeah. So um, all we're going to be doing now is we're putting everything back together, putting the frames back in. I'm going to be adding a queen excluder to the top of the two boxes and putting the bee on that super over there, or that box over there with the frames in it for honey. Um, and then we'll be closing up the hive. We won't bore you with those details. You guys have been watching us for the past hour, so. Um, I'll go ahead and close out. And until next time, be safe and be good. Mm-hmm. <laughs>